Hello Sip Sip Squad! Today we're going to be doing a breakdown of Singcho's kit. Singcho has been a staple in many freeze or vaporize teams because of his consistent off-field hydro application. The addition of Denjo has also allowed him to be even more useful in Bloom and Fridge teams, so if you're thinking about playing with Denjo, Singcho can be a great addition to your team. If you enjoy and want more content like this, then be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Starting with Singcho's base kit. His normal attack, Guhua style, performs up to 5 rapid attacks. Singcho's priority, however, isn't in his normal attacks, but rather in his elemental skill and burst. Singcho's Ascension 1 passive, Hydropathic, heals the active character for 6% of his max HP whenever a rain sword shatters or duration expires. His Ascension 4 passive, Blades Amidst Raindrops, gives Singcho a 20% hydro damage bonus. These passives are pretty good since his rain sword helps with survivability, while his A4 is a free damage upgrade for his personal damage. His elemental skill, Guhua Sword Fatal Rain Screen, performs two strikes that deal hydro damage. After, he gains rain swords, which orbit around the active character. His rain swords reduce damage taken and increase character resistance to interruption. Along with this, 20% of his hydro damage bonus is converted to additional rain sword damage reduction. Note that up to 24% additional damage reduction can be obtained this way. Fatal Rain Screen also applies the wet status onto the character, so be careful using this ability if you're afflicted with cryo. Lastly, his elemental burst Guhua Sword Rain Cutter initiates Rainbow Blade work. This effect allows active characters' normal attacks to trigger continuous rain sword attacks that deal hydro damage. The rain sword stay at its max number throughout the burst duration. In terms of which talents to prioritize, as mentioned earlier, his normal attacks are last in priority. In fact, you don't need to level it since it doesn't contribute to much, if any, of his overall DPS. Between his skill and burst, it's best to prioritize his burst and then his elemental skill. For weapons, any ER stat weapon works well with him as he has really high energy costs with an 80 energy burst. Another thing to take into consideration is his cooldowns. Both his skill and burst last 15 seconds and their cooldowns are around 20 to 21 seconds. This makes it to where he needs a lot of particles in order to have his burst up every rotation. To start, Sacrificial Sword at R3 Plus is Singcho's best in slot by far. Being able to use his skill twice, especially if you can use it during his burst, gives him both more energy and damage. Not only that, but Sack Sword itself has a high ER substat, which already helps alleviate his ER needs. Remember, however, that this specific to the R3 plus Sack Sword, at R1 and R2, you will find more difficulty getting the skill cooldown refresh, which makes it perform worse than other 4 star weapons. Outside of Sack Sword, for 5 stars, weapons like Primordial Jade Cutter, Miss Splitter, and Haran are good options for him. Skyward Blade is also an option as well. For 4 stars, weapons such as Favonius or Aminoma work well. Favonius especially is good to use if there's no other Hydra unit on the team. If you're a beginner or you don't have any of the 4 stars mentioned above, you can run R5 Harbinger of Dawn, as it gives both crit and its substat and passive, so long as you stay above 90% health. For artifacts, 4-piece Emblem of Severed Fate is the go-to due to its energy recharge increase and converting ER to burst damage. Other options include Noblesse or Heart of Death, or you can do a 2-piece 2-piece with any of these alongside Glad or Shimanawa. If you have Singcha at C6, then you do not need to hard farm Emblem and can safely do a 2-piece combination. Main stats will be ER or Attack% percent Sands depending on your ER needs, Hydro Damage Goblet, and Crit Rate or Crit Damage Circlet. Substats to prioritize include Crit, Attack% percent, and Energy Recharge. Pre-C6 versus C6 Singcho has minor but important differences that should be noted here. Let's first go over his constellations prior to C6. C1 increases the max number of rain swords by 1, giving a total of 4 rain swords instead of 3. His C2 extends his burst duration by 3 seconds and decreases enemy hydro resistance when hit by a rain sword attack by 15% for 4 seconds. C3 and C5 increase his burst and skill upgrade level by 3 respectively. Lastly, his C4 increases his skill's damage by 50% while his burst is active. These 5 constellations increase his damage output and provide him with more off-field power. Now onto his C6, which is where the difference comes in. Singcho's C6 enhances every third rain sword attack from his burst. Additionally, this third attack on hit regens 3 energy for Singcho. Not only is his burst damage increased, but he's provided additional energy over time. Because of this, his ER needs are notably reduced. With Sack Sword at R3 plus pre-C6, his ER needs range from 160 to 180%, and even 200% at lower refinements since Sack isn't guaranteed to proc. At C6, his average lowers to around 130 to 150%. Singcho is debatedly one of the best characters in game, and this is reflected in team comps as well. Because he's a Hydro unit, he's very flexible and can fit into many teams with ease. Some of his best teams include, but aren't limited to, Raiden National, including Raiden, Singcho, Zhongling, and Bennett, Electro Charge with Beidou, Fischl, Sucrose, and Singcho, Double Hydro Vape with Singcho, Yulan, Hutao, and Zhongli, 
and Hyperbloom with Singsho, Fischl or Kuki, Dendro main character, and Zhongli. Let's show a rotation example for Hyperbloom. <laughs> With the arrival of Dendro, Hydro units, including Singcho, have found their spot in Bloom and Hyper Bloom teams. Singcho especially excels in Hyper Bloom since his Rain Swords allow him to proc the reaction consistently. Here's a showcase of this mechanic. <laughs> Though it's not recommended, Singcho can fill in the Hydra slot in Fridge teams if needed. Something like Kaya or Rosaria paired with Singcho, Dendro main character, and Kale or Diona, for example, is a solid Fridge team that does decent damage. However, do keep in mind that he excels more in Hyper Bloom than in Fridge due to his lack of AoE. This can make it more difficult for him to work in Fridge comps as they rely on both consistent freeze and bloom reactions in order to do well. <laughs> That concludes this kit breakdown. If you found this useful, then go ahead and drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to join the Sip Sip Squad Discord as we have character sheets and channels to help with your builds. Thanks for watching!